Hello, hello. It's Quentin Mother Fashion Dog. Welcome or welcome back to the channel, honey. Today, we are here to talk about the 2024 Emmys Fashion, honey, here with another fashion review. I know I'm a few days late, but you hoes will be okay. Hot Lamo put his video out on Wednesday, and so can I. I was going to wear pink because on pink we wear Wednesdays. By me, 265 days. Where the hell that bitch live at? And my stupid iron was, was fucking up and I threw her in the garbage. So I just put on something that I didn't have to iron, honey. Get into my itty bitty shorts. Ooh, I did it before Mew Mew. Get into it. But anyway, if you are new here to the channel, please subscribe. Subscribe, comment, like, and share. Honey, I talk about fashion, design, plants, home decor, and more. We're going to get right into it. I'm just talking about the girls I want to. I'm not saying they're the best dress or the worst. they just who I wanted to talk about. We're going to start off with Miss Alice and Jamie. Now, the, the, the category or the theme, trend report. Trend report. The old girls was turning it. It was the older, mature women for me at the Emmys. Miss Allison Janey is in a Gaurav Gupta um, fall winter 24 couture gown. It looks like it's a black velvet. And then we get these two. Um, do we want to say bustles? Almost like bustles. It's, get, it's putting me in the mind of a pinier. The, the pinier on the sides of gowns that the women used to wear. But it's definitely paying homage to like a pinier, a bustle, that era when there were these added pieces to women's clothing to give them uh, that silhouette. Love it. I love the neckline. I like, love her hair. Her hair is not up, but this little tight bob with this flip, stunning. Thank you for the necklace. And I love the added um, gloves because she's the older lady. And I'm going to show the model. I like the gloves. In this instance, the gloves made more sense and dressed up to look more. But Miss Allison Janey get a stunning honey. I think she might be my best dress for the night. I was just so gagged when I saw her. I don't usually see her this glamorous. We're going to say best dress nominee. But Miss Allison Janey turned it. We starting off good over here, honey. Praise God. Next is Miss... Sky P. Marshall, and she is in a brown or like a um, burnt sienna for my art girls. She's in like a burnt sienna gown by Christian Siriano. It looks like the skirt piece is velvet. I don't know what fabric this bodice is. It almost looks like something that's beaded. But this bodice, like off the shoulder nasty piece with this draped um waistline oh stunning and the pictures that her stylist posted brian javar i like those pictures better than her on the um red carpet but this is stunning i again i love the bob i guess a, another trend report bobs what's your name bob so they're calling you bob What's your name, B.O.B., so they calling you Bob? Stop playing, or you do know that I'm known for the Bob. Love the Bob. Love the dangly earring. I think they could have had her cinched in more. But other than that, she gets a stunning for me. Yes, Miss Sky Marshall. I'm not sure what she's on, but she turned it. Another best dress nominee from me. Okay, another one of the older girls that was turning it. Miss Christine Baranski. Oh, she looks stunning. She has on custom Oscar de la Renta. 
I'm, don't even give me the lion about what fabric this is, but I love this fabric. Oh, this draped neckline going around her shoulders, honey. And then just like the collar dress that comes from underneath. We got a little floral moment. Another bob. I like her little bob, her little shang-yang going around that ear. She got her nasty swoo over this eye. I like the earrings. I like the dark lip. And then the lip hints at the shoe. At first, I was like, oh, the color of this, like, it's not a traditional red. It's a darker red. I wouldn't say burgundy. I was like, this color seems random, but I think it's some of that color in the dress and the lip is hinting at that. Christine looks stunning, bitch. Another Best Dress nominee. She got on her old nasty bangle. She looks stunning. The older girls knew what to do. I'm not complaining about their hair. Their accessories are on point. Stunning. Now, the shoe didn't have to have that buckle, but other than that, stunning. Best Dress nominee, Miss Christine Baranski. I don't know if she won, but she is from the show, The Gilded Age. And the girls be dressed on The Gilded Age. Stream it on Max. You're welcome. Next is Miss Janelle James. Miss Janelle James from Abbott Elementary is in a red Marquesa gown. Um, it has some gathering by the shoulder and at the waist. So it's giving like a rosette moment. We do have a high split with a black sandal. Y'all know what I'm going to say. She could have had her hair up, especially since you're giving her one shoulder moment. How about let us see what's going on with the shoulders? But other than that, I'm going to give her a cute. I'm going to give her a cute. I'm not going to give her a stunning. Something about this dress is giving wrinkle, crinkle, buncle, jumble. But she looks pretty. I'm going to give her a cute. She didn't let... um. Mother Ralph, tell her up this time. Praise God. Let me take a sip of my wine. Oh, y'all like how? Oh, y'all like how I switched up my set? You like it? Shout out to my clubhouse bestie Bree. If you watch my other video, if you haven't, go watch it. Hookers. My birthday extravaganza. I uh, unbox and put this together. It's a um, stand for my switch. Look, let me show the girls. In case you didn't watch that video because you a hater. Blue. Get into it. Oh. Oh. Yes, honey. Thank you, bestie. Um, Back to the video. <laughs> We're going to stick with the Abbey Girls. I'm going to switch up my my order just a little. We're going to do my girl Quinta next. Quinta Brunson, honey. Honey, 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 honey. Miss Honey, okay? She was giving Miss Honey on this night. Miss Quinta Brunson is in a George Jorge's chakra. Or is it George? Is it Jorge's or George's chakra? Somebody tell me. And you could read me. Somebody tell me, is it George's, George's chakra or Jorge's chakra? Both sound weird to me. But she is in a almost like a sweetheart neckline dress. It's strapless, but it, they kind of come to a point. Um, it's another shiny fabric similar to what Christine Baranski had on, but it has... Like from this, from the bus, it has like a stripe of another fabric that's kind of intertwined in the dress. And then we get bows over it. Like it's kind of laced up. Um, and I love her little short pixie cut. It's giving me uh Betty Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. Quinta is back, honey. The princess is here. Quinta gets a stunning from me. This is lovely. I think this dress could have easily swallowed. Have you ever been swallowed? This dress could have swallowed her up, honey, but it did it. She did what needed to be done. I think she looked just as good as the model. I will say the bust piece is real high upon her clavicle, but she still looked good. And I'm glad they didn't give her 
um, the gloves that the model is wearing, like the bracelet. I would have liked the bigger earring or maybe one big one. But start that. Maybe the side, okay, the side that had the bowls have like a big statement earring on the other side. I like to balance the sides out. Oh, honey, my skin is looking good. And to quote Nene, you could use a bleacher. I bleached my hair before this video. You're welcome. Um, next, also from Abbott Elementary, is the dream girl herself, Cheryl Lee Ralph. Let me find Cheryl. Yeah, Cheryl. Cheryl is in Atelier Versace. I already remember, honey. Atelier Versace, this black gown looking stunning and snatched honey cheryl gives the young girls a run for their money every time and this was custom we love the halter neck moment with a cute little bow and i didn't even notice this now see i support the other girls and i know they don't support me but i watch hot limo's video i didn't even notice that that was the medusa here on the bow from versace but cute I like another trend report was like silky slick fabric and I like it. I want some pants in like a slick silky fabric, honey. I know orange culture sells some. But Miss Shirley Ralph gets a stunning for me. I love the hair pulled back. Thank you. I like the simple earring. Um, and I like her little Superman swoop as well. Stunning. Um Okay, we got a couple more girls from Abbott. Now, I forgot her character's name, but this white lady be dressed. Lisa Ann Walter, also from Abbott. She plays one of the teachers. She's in a Gabby Shabar Shabarki Shabarshi gown, and this is pretty. I do think the color combo is interesting. I probably wouldn't have chose this like i think the white could have been something else but it is pretty she looks nice her body looks nice i like the updo the messy updo she, she giving us a piece of earring and she got her handbag honey a lady always have her handbag at evening time at dinner time honey she gets us i'm gonna give her a cute i'm not gonna give her a stunning she gets a cute um no shade. I'm not even going to talk about the white guy because he pissed me off. But we are going to talk about Tyler James Williams to round out the girls from Abbott. Hold, please. Tyler James Williams is in Dolce & Cabana and Tiffany & Co. Jewelry. He just has a sleeveless Oxford shirt or like sleeveless tuxedo shirt because it has an interesting collar. It does look like he has some kind of um, like um, brooch or collar little moment going on here and some bangles. I like the fit of his pants. I can't tell. Is this a boot that he's wearing? What kind of shoes do he has on? have on? Okay. I guess it's a boot. It's fine. I think he looks very straight up and down. I think I would have liked this better if he had on a pant that was a wider leg. It would have been better to me. I'm just, I'm going to just give him a cue. I would like a better haircut. How about fade the sides some? Just give him a cue. And it's a, a very low cue. Very low. But those were the Abbott girls. The Abbott uh, people turned it and represented well. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's get back to the regular list. But we're going to go to one of the funny ladies, honey. One of my favorite ladies in Hollywood. No, women always love a funny man. I love a funny woman. You can keep... Because half the time, men that, that think they're funny aren't actually funny. They're just annoying. Um, but we are going to talk about Miss Kristen Wiig, who also was in Oscar de la Renta. <sighs> I don't know if this is this a silver or a gold or is it both or is it a pewter i can't tell what color this is but it's a metallic gown it looks like it's some fabric that's like woven together 
I have no clue what fabric this is, but this is stunning. And again, what's your name, B.O.B.? So they're calling you Bob. We love the Bob. Her makeup is cute. Simple earring. She does have on a necklace. I will give her a pass with her simple jewelry because her dress is the statement. But thank you, girl. She still got us some jewelry. Krista Wig gets a stunning. Krista Wig has been turning it the past few years. And I'm, I'm loving it. Yes, honey. The funny ladies can be fashion girls as well. Now, I'm going to throw her in here because I wasn't going to talk about her. But since we're here, Miss Maya Rudolph was down to the Emmys. And she had on Chloe from the fall, winter 2024 collection. Now, on the model, this is sheer, and it looks like the model has on shorts under it and like a um, a, like a thigh-high boot. I can't tell if Maya has on the boot as well. Maya didn't turn this. I don't like this on Maya. And I could tell Maya trying to be in her fashion bag, too. I'm not gagged. And I'm going to insert a picture. Beyonce just had on something similar. I think from the same Chloe collection. And Beyonce looked cute. Maya, I don't like this. I think you needed the sheer piece. So it was like a little sexy. You just look covered up. It's giving Little House on the Prairie. I'm actually going to give Miss Maya a tacky. And she got on the bob too. But, and I love you so much, Miss Maya Rudolph. But mm -mm. it's a tacky for me. I'm sorry. Okay, speaking of another rough one for me, and I might be alone on this one. Next is Miss Asia Naomi King. I didn't know she spelled her name A-J-A like my friend Aja. Shout out to Aja. Her name is also Asia, but she is Aja to me, like the drag queen. Aja Naomi King is in Gian Batista Valley, Fall Winter 24 Couture. I think this is a hard dress. Period. Because I think even on the model, it's ooh, it's hard. It's a hard wear. I think I do like it better on the model. Um, Miss Aja Naomi King, I think you needed, I would have liked a closed toe shoe. Or if you were going to do a sandal, something that just was a little more substantial. Maybe some straps or something. If you see the model, they have the model. She has like flower appliques on her skin. If she had a shoe that, or like a sandal that kind of went up her leg just a little and had the flowers on it, I think that would have added something. And she's short, but it just feels like a lot of leg for all that train behind her. And then I don't like the necklace. I hate her hair down. Why is your hair down? I think if the hair was up, it would have really helped it. Even the model... She has her hair pulled back. It needs to be up. It probably would have made her look taller. I like the idea, but this is not serving. Years ago, I think it was for the Obsessed premiere, Beyonce with his black ball main dress, and it was a high-low. She had on the clothes, so shoe. Her hair was down, but it was better than this. This is kind of giving me dated. Maybe that's... This was hard. I'm going to give you a tacky. I'm sorry, Miss Asia. You pretty. Your face was beat, honey. But this wasn't it. I'm sorry. I'm glad it didn't look like all the tool dresses that Gian Batista is known for. But, mm -mm. no. Um, next is Miss Anna Sawai. I think that's how you pronounce it. She is in custom Vera Wayne and Cartier Jewelry. She's in a, a red, strapless, sleeveless Vera Wang, Wang gown. I'm going to call say this has a trumpet skirt instead of mermaid because it starts up very high. I like this gown. I like the structure of it. I kind of like that it has two tiers of the, you know, or like a peplum before the trumpet piece starts. I think the neckline is interesting. I think she needed a necklace. I even like the simple a pull back hair. I would have liked the necklace and some eye makeup. Her makeup is very simple. But she looks pretty. This is a cute for me. I thought she looked pretty. 
It actually made me want to watch the show Shogun because I know she's from that and it won awards and I heard so much about it. I may go watch it. Thank you, Miss Anna. She gets a cute again. Oh, now this was one of the divas, honey. Now, I don't care for her being in the MCU, but she be turning it with the looks. Miss Brie Larson, honey. She is in custom Chanel. Stunning. Stunning. It's an A-line dress. The straps and the like the trim up top is giving me the straps or like the chain from the Chanel bags, but it also looks like it's like some bedazzling or some beading in there. I love the stone and bead work on like the bodice piece. It almost looks like like a mini dress with another skirt under it. Love the, sh you know what? Love her hair. I'm fine with the sim simple makeup. I like the bow, like the earrings. I'm fine with her not having on the necklace. I think she could have had on a better shoe or a shoe with a bow on it, like a like a stunning Mary Jane type shoe. That would have been cute. But she gets a stunning. And I don't mind the bow. Brie Larson gets a stunning. Another best dress nominee for me. Love it. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay. Now this next young lady, Nicola Coughlin from Bridgerton. Now I like this dress. Or is it a... It almost looks like a dress with a skirt under it. This is stunning. I love the off the shoulder. This structure is everything. She is in custom Prabo Garong. The hair being back, I, I'll let it pass. I think it would have been better up, but I'll let it pass. She needed on something. These earrings are too little. She don't. It really doesn't even look like she barely has on rings, no bracelet. Her makeup is so washed out. She needed some color. She needed some color. We needed a lip. I would have liked the hair up and a, a statement earring. She didn't have to wear a necklace. Because the girls are up and they sit it up. She don't have a lot of space up here. We needed some earrings or something. But I love the dress or the look itself. I'm going to give her a cue. But this could have been so stunning. But you just didn't do what needed to be done, honey. And don't do it again. Um, Next is... Okay. Um, Next is Miss Sabrina Elba. Speaking of vintage... She's in vintage Mugler, this white Mugler gown. With, it's a halter moment. It's white, but we have like a bl sheer black. Um, I'm not going to say the fabric because I don't want to say it wrong, but she has her bob. What I thought was so interesting about this dress is the black sheer fabric that comes from the waist. And because it's over the white, it kind of makes like a third color, like it looks like a charcoal gray. I thought this was cool. And it's not over the top, but it's definitely making a statement. I like it. And I like her bob. I think her bob was a nice touch. She's another one. Um, some more dramatic makeup or eye makeup I think could have helped. She could have did a bigger earring or just something that gave me a little more mood glare, an arm cuff, something. And I would have liked it more, but I am going to give her a cue. She looked very pretty. Her husband looks so dry and boring. I'm not even going to talk about him. Um, next is Miss Ayo Edaberry in custom Bottega Veneta. New Bottega. I think Ayo looks stunning. The dress is giving me koi fish. I love the colors. I love orange. I like that she just did a simple black sandal. I like the earrings. Something about the, the hoop on the earring is giving me like... Um, a reel for casting, your bait for fish. And I actually don't mind her hair now. Because there's nothing, she, we're not missing anything up here. I think she looks nice. And her makeup looks so nice. I think this is the prettiest I've ever seen her look beauty-wise. She looks so pretty. I'm going to give her a stunning. I like this. I thought it was simple but effective. And I like the sheen. It's kind of shiny. 
Um, okay. And then we're wrapping it up, honey. And last but not least is Miss Laura Dern. Hold, please. Miss Laura Dern is in a Gabriella Hearst dress. It looks like she's wearing a dress with pants underneath, which I love the idea. I love this off the shoulder moment. She is another one. I think the look would have turned it if her styling was better. I like that she has on a necklace, but I don't like this necklace. And I think the necklace is is too low. And if it was going to be that low and touch the top of the dress, it needed to be smaller or something. The bag feels random. And why is your hair down? If her hair was up like an old nasty uh, Cinderella French roll beehive kind of moment, it would have turned that she could have still had a bang. Because I like this. It's giving me pilgrim, but she in a different shoe. What is this shoe, girl? Mm -mm. This, this could have been there for me. I wish they changed the buttons. I, like if it had a, a, a very ornate looking button. Ooh. Like if the button was given what the necklace is given. I think it would have just been so much better. This was almost there for me. I love a nasty clavicle moment. And a shoulder piece. I'm going to give you a cue, but it's a very low one. And I know the girl's probably going to read me in the comments. And that's fine. Because I am the fashion doll and y'all are not. Speaking of the fashion doll, if you don't follow me already on Instagram, my personal Instagram, I changed my name to the or the fashion doll with four L's. So please follow me there. But yes, that... Um, concludes the girls I wanted to talk about from the Emmys. Um, who was my, who would I say my best dress is? Let's see. I'm going to give my best dress. I'm going to give my best dress. To Alice and Janie. I'm going to give it to Alice and Janie. I think she really turned it. I was just so surprised when I saw her. And she's a pretty lady, but I don't know her to be glamorous. So it was just, just different. And I just, I was gagged. And that's what you're supposed to be at the award show. I don't know if she won, a, won an award or not, honey. But she won the evening looking stunning. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know who was your best dress, um, who was your favorite look, who were you excited that actually won an award at the Emmys, but yeah, I just skipped the VMAs, because I, I don't even think anybody cared that much about the VMAs or watched them, so I said we could skip it, I could do something else, but I wanted to get this out. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. You better, you better leave a comment and like this video. Um, and I will be back soon with some doll unboxings. We need to do a plant light or grow light video. And then it's been a minute since I gave y'all a design story. So I need to get y'all a design story too. But we just got stuff going on at the channel, honey. You just... Honey, you don't know what I'd do. Yes. Wait. Did I ever talk about? We did. I did talk about the um, Dubai reunion fashion. I need to do a video on um, Potomac's promo. Maybe that'll be a lie. Maybe I'll ask the Parkers if they want to do a lie. But yes, anyway. I will see y'all soon because I'm rambling. Thank you for watching. Ta-ta.